Hello everybody and welcome back once again to um, our weekly class. Uh, this is the last uh, week of the series, um, so there won't be a class next week. But don't worry, we will be back with um, more classes. Some will be live, some will be uh, premiered on, on Facebook or on our YouTube channel. So there will still be uh, content available to you. Um, it just uh, won't uh, be necessarily um, every week um, until probably um, September, October time. We're looking at a new series uh, with hopefully some guest, some guests joining us as well. Uh, now I'm just checking because it looks like there's a slight issue with um, the internet. Bear with me a second. Here we go. Right, let's see. Sorry, everybody. I hope you're all still there. Let's just check, see whether or not it is playing. Right, here we go. What's going on here? Do I have people there? Yes, I think I do. I think it's playing. I think I've just got an issue with my iPad. Oh, here we go. Yep. Yeah. Sorry about that. Right, okay. So, I'll start again. <laughs> So this is the last week of our series of classes, um, but today is going to be the same format, 10 minutes of uh, warm up, 10 minutes of a technique, and then 10 minutes of a kata slash form. Uh, the technique we're gonna be looking at today is shoulder rolls. Um, don't worry if you don't have too much space, we're gonna break it down um, as much as possible, and we're gonna be putting those rolls into the form. Again, don't worry about space, even if you break the form down, um, and there's not too much movement in the form this week as well. Um, that way uh, you can be practicing those rolls whilst putting in some other fight moves as well. So we're gonna be starting off with 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We're gonna be starting with a run. So nice high knees, running on the spot, starting in 10 seconds. I've got my water with me today. And, uh, and remember to stay hydrated as you're doing this. So let's go for 40 seconds. So knees up. Keep it going. I hope you've enjoyed these last few weeks. It's been eight weeks of this solo training, but I did, I think it was 13 weeks of isolation training beforehand, similar thing, but um, not necessarily the same format every week. I um, hope you've enjoyed it. I know what I have, it's kept me going for the last 20 odd weeks whilst uh, we haven't been able to get into rehearsal spaces. 10 more seconds to go. Keep those knees up. One is one of my favourites, but most of my students hate this. Okay, stop there. This one we're going to hold our arms out. I'll tell you when to circle. Uh, we're going to keep them out straight. Don't turn your palms up. Keep your palms facing down. No cheating. Right. So 40 seconds. Arms out to the side. Just soften your knees. That's it. Just hold it still. Five seconds. Good, now small circle. So imagine you're pointing with your forefinger, just drawing the size of a golf ball. I'm gonna do this for 15 seconds, nearly there. Good, hold it still for five. Good, now draw a football, so slightly bigger. Keeping those palms down, you should feel this in the shoulders. Nice and easy, this one. And that's your 40 seconds, drop your arms. So, third exercise. Well, we're blitzing through these. Third exercise, reverse lunging. So you're just gonna step back, dropping your knee to the floor. Don't crash it down. Coming back up, opposite knee, coming back up. Alternating each time. Like I say, don't drop. Uh, don't drop really quickly. Uh, just make sure you're placing. So off we go, 40 seconds. If this is too easy, if you're used to doing these, and this is too easy, you can jump them, okay? So if you want to, from here, jump up, switch. Jump up, switch. Jump up, switch, okay? If not, just step, place. Step, 
place. Keep it going. 20 more seconds. Whew. I've gone for the easy option today. I've already done a run, so I feel I can, uh, I'm allowed to. <laughs> okay, five seconds. Two, one, last one. Good, shake your legs out. Okay, next one. Ooh, down on the floor. A few crunches. So, want to place your hands on your thighs. Imagine you've got an apple in between your chin and your chest. You don't want to be putting strain on your neck. You're going to crunch up, slide your hands up, and then slide down. Off we go. 40 seconds. Slide up. Don't rush these. Make them controlled. Feel it here as you come up. You can feel that core working. There we go. Keep it going. Halfway there, guys. You're doing well. So it's a really tense, that core. If you want a bit of a bit of a hold, you can hold it there. Really use those muscles. Lower it down, controlled. You're not just dropping. Last one. And down again. There we go. Woo. Right, what's next? Constant punching. Brilliant. Horse stance. Legs slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Crouching down, guard up, keep the elbows in, protecting solar plexus. As you punch, you're twisting. If you want to do a little twist with your foot as well, just to help your knees, you can do. If not, just twisting at the waist. Idea with this is speed, not power. Again, we're working our core on each punch as it's turning. We're also using our arms as well, of course, but the emphasis is on the core. Halfway, guys. Keep it going. If you want to go quicker, you can. This is great for partnered work as well. If one of you holds a pad or even just palms up, punching the targets, great with partnered work. Okay, shake it out. Ooh, next one. Doing a long core today. Um, oh no, sumo squats first. So, again, wide stance. We're just going to squat down. Tilt your pelvis under, keeping your chest up. Okay, don't drop it down. Here, feel the pull, feel the stretch, and coming up. 40 seconds. Off we go. Again, don't feel you have to rush these. Make sure your knees go over your toes. They're in a line with your toes. Don't let them drop in. You'll feel a bad pressure if they drop in. Okay, you'll feel it on the outside. And if you've got weak knees, they could pop. That's never good. As with everything, always work to your own ability. If you find this is too hard, just slow it down or don't go quite as far. Ooh, four more seconds. Nearly there. Last squat, everyone. Oh, there we go. Shake that out. Right, back to the core. We're going to do side plank. So, onto your side, just on your elbow for this one. If you want to, you can come up onto your arm. I'm going to do it from the elbow. Legs out straight, you're going to lift up, imagine, so if everyone gets into this position, 40 seconds starts now, imagine there's a cord and it's pulling you up, you don't want to be dropping it down here. This is your plank, you can hold your hand up there for balance if you want. For those of you who want to increase this workout, do little dips, so you're dropping and lifting, dropping and lifting, it's like, I suppose it's like a, um, a sit up, but on the side, okay, if you don't want to do this, just hold it still. Okay, just make sure it doesn't sag. You should be feeling it really here. Core should be tight. Last 10 seconds, guys. Grab some water after this if you need to. Okay, and drop it. Good. On to the other side. Can't do one side without the other. Just taking a short break. 10 more seconds. You're going to do side plank again. So you're coming up from your... Um, Forearm, so you're resting on your forearm, or you can go from the hand if you wish. Okay, lifting it up. Okay, if it helps to get into position, get your balance, put your top foot on top of the bottom foot, lift the arm up if you want. You could imagine you're reaching if that helps you pull up. The important thing is you don't let your hips drop down. You keep your hips up, and you can feel it tightening. 
in your core. Halfway guys, we've done 20 seconds. Well done. Only two more exercises after this. 10 seconds to go. Oh, I'm sweating. Three, two, one, and drop. Whew. Good, right. Up on your feet again. So, this next one, penultimate one. Left foot forward, right foot back. If you're left hand, you want to do it on the opposite side, you're very welcome to. Guard up. You're going to jab, cross, jab. You're going to duck away from the straight arm. So you're ducking to your right. Jab, cross, duck to your left. Off we go. One, two, three, duck. One, two, duck. I'll do it a little bit slower in case you're struggling to pick it up. Left, right, left, duck to the right. Left, right, duck to the left. Left, right, left, duck to the right. Left, right, duck to the left. One, two, three, duck. One, two, duck. One, two, three, duck. One, two, duck. One, two, three, duck. One, two, duck. Couple more of these. Last one. One, two, three, duck. One, two, duck. Good. Well done, everybody. One more exercise to go. One of my favorite ones. I've said this already. Favorite one was an earlier one, wasn't it? I like this one as well. That was on arms. This is legs. So it's a straight leg kick. Keep your foot flexed. Keep your leg straight. Feel the stretch at the back of the leg. Don't go too high. So start it off with the right foot. We do 20 seconds on each leg. Whew. You should feel that stretch. <clears throat> when it starts to warm up and ease, try and kick it that little bit higher. Five more seconds on this side. I reckon we can get one more kick in. Switch your legs. Left leg. Ooh, I could feel that. Don't make the mistake I just did. <laughs> just because your right leg got high, don't try and get that high straight away with your left. You'll feel it. Ooh, nearly there. A few more seconds. Let's do one more kick after this. There you go. Ooh, shake your legs out. Grab your water. I remembered it. There's a terrible glare from my lights. What I'll do in between now and when I do more live stuff, I'll try and sort out a better lighting system. Hopefully less glare. Right. So, we're gonna be looking at the technique of the shoulder roll. Now, shoulder roll, great technique to learn. You can do it from all different positions from a kneel, from a crouch, from standing, um, from running into it, and even from throwing into it as well. And it all boils down to the same core technique. So we're gonna start it right back at the start from the basic form of the shoulder roll, which is going from the floor. Now, I always say, if you can't do it slow, don't do it fast. Same thing applies with this, however, momentum does come into play here. And if you don't allow momentum to carry on, then gravity will knock you to the floor. So, even though I say if you can't do it slowly, don't do it fast, this one is a slight exception to the rule. You do have to put energy behind it all the time in order to get that momentum to move you forward. Now, I'll do my best to get everything in shot. I uh, just realized I've got a couple of things that might get in the way. So I'm just gonna move those out to the side slightly. Don't want to crash into anything. Right, okay, so first thing with the shoulder roll, when we're going from, uh, from a stationary position. So I want you to put one foot on the floor, one knee on the floor. So for now, just do whichever way feels more comfortable to you. Once you know the technique, always try and practice this uh, on both sides. Uh, the form that we're going to be doing, you have to do it on both sides. And chances are, if you're ever doing this in a piece of choreography, the fight director will always want you to do it on the side that you're um, that you're less comfortable with. It's just not, not because they're being nasty, just because of uh, how the fight goes, they wouldn't even know that. Um, you just know sod's law. Whatever, whatever side you find easier, never gets done that way, unfortunately. I uh, hope you're feeling good. Give me a thumbs up if you, if you can get to your camera, um, or if you're doing this. Fair enough, I know you can't. So, one foot on the floor, one knee on the floor, okay? Have it slightly wide as well. Next, I'm gonna put my hand on the floor. So, if my right knee is on the floor, 
to my right hand that goes flat on the floor. Now I hope you can see this. I might move closer to the door. Shut that bit more. I'll move closer to the door. I will have to move, uh, or I might go out of shot as I do the roll. In fact, I'll try and get more into the corner. Right. So right hands on the floor, right knees on the floor. Next thing, the most important thing is you tuck your chin under here and your head goes under this arm. If you don't tuck your chin down, you're gonna get your head trapped as you do the roll and you're gonna hurt your neck. So get your neck underneath. Now, if anyone's got bad shoulders, a bad neck, do not do this today. Watch the technique, try and pick it up and then practice it uh, when you've got better movement there. Do not practice this if you've got an injury because you'll only make the injury worse. So hands on the floor. This left hand is now gonna go through this way. Now, common error, what people do, is they then try and go the opposite way. I did that once, but what happens when you go the opposite way is your nose tends to hit your knee. And when your nose hits your knee, it hurts, okay? So do not go towards that bent knee. You're going towards the one that's on the floor, okay? So, foot on the floor, right knee's on the floor, right hand's on the floor, left hand goes underneath my right armpit, okay? And I'm gonna be reaching. Imagine someone's over there and I'm trying to grab them. I tuck my head and I look underneath here as well. Do not look over, look underneath. Now, I wanna put my toes of this foot curled underneath on the floor so I can get some push and I'm ready to push off here. Imagine you're in a running race, you're about to start the race and you wanna push off here. So we're at this position, I'm gonna reach underneath. Now, I don't know whether I'm gonna go out of shot on this, and I'll try and do it slowly. Uh, there's, only so, there's only a certain speed you can go on this. So we're here, we're lifting, we're gonna start pushing. And you can see that I'm gonna come under. My bum, my hips, have to go over my head, okay? So when we're here, when we're ready, you commit to the movement and you roll. Am I still in shot? Yay, I am. Okay, now the important thing is, is you don't get your shoulder hitting the floor, okay? When I'm down here, I'm not ramming my shoulder down. That is going to injure your shoulder, it's going to hurt. My shoulder doesn't even touch. What's happening is the impact is starting kind of on my shoulder blade here and it's running diagonally down my back. Okay, now you get to a point of no return here. If you don't commit when you're at that point of no return, you will, I promise you, uh, you will end up falling flat on your face. Okay, so hand flat, hand through. I'm gonna reach through, so I'm getting to here. Okay, now I'm pushing up. Now at this point, you have to commit to it, and my energy is going forward. If I don't, if I just drop down, my shoulder will hit the floor. So I'm gonna be pushing forward, and I roll, okay? Now, we just do it on the other leg as well. So let's see, <laughs> how do I do that? Right, so this side, again, I'll just try and get back as far as I can. So this time my right foot is on the floor, my left knee is on the floor. My left knee is on the floor, which means my left hand goes on the floor and my right hand goes underneath my left armpit. Now, like I said, you're always more comfortable on one side than the other. That side is the side I'm more comfortable with. So let's hope this one works. Okay, so we're here. I'm gonna be reaching through. Same thing applies. I'm gonna be pushing off my toes. Once I get to that point of no return, I have to commit. My head tucks under, not over. This is really important. Head under the armpit, we're here, and we roll. Did that work? I hope it worked, felt good. Now, there's a lot of impact on this. So, when practicing, try and practice on a slightly cushioned floor like I've got here. Uh, if it's a nice sunny day, maybe practice on some grass. But, because there is impact on your torso, and it's repetitive, the more you practice it over and over again, you'll start to weaken and you'll start to bruise and it will start to hurt a little bit. So I don't recommend you spend hours practicing these techniques or this technique in particular. What I recommend is you do it two or three times, take a break. Two or three times again, take a break, try something else, go and have a coffee, come back to it, do it the next day, but just do it constantly as in you, you keep coming back to it but do it in short bursts. That way your body gets used to the movement um, and you're not gonna start having repetitive impact injuries uh, on your body. Okay, quick bit of water. I'm gonna be moving on to the form very shortly. Now, once you've got that, there isn't really room to do this, but I'll talk you through it. Once you're happy with that technique um, and you want to progress with it, 
a couple of exercises you can do. First one is walking into the drop. So the hardest thing for people is they're in the position, they're waiting, and then they have to commit, and it's that thinking time which is hard for everyone. Instead, if you walk into it, so we start from over here, you've got to remember which foot you're landing on. So I'm going to go this way. So I'm going to step with my left foot forward. I'm going to come down with my right hand, okay, and I'm going to the roll. So you're still starting from that stand, uh, from that um, crouch position or from that kneeling position, but you're going to walk into the position. You've already committed. Don't stop. You're coming down. You keep it going, and you go straight into the roll. Went out of shot. Go straight into the roll, okay? So use that walking, use that walking. That will help you. Then when you're comfortable with that, and there's not really room to do this, you can then start to do it from a standing position. Same thing, start, stood first of all, have one foot in front of the other. You're just gonna reach down and roll. I'll see if I can do it, but I know I'm gonna go out of shot. So from here, you can just go straight into it. Am I in? I'm in, hey. Um, okay, and then once you're happy with that, you can walk into that and do it from a walk the same way. There are things that start to freak people out as well, and obstacles is one of them. And the shoulder roll is a great thing for people diving over objects, whether it be tables, whether it be people. Um, and also we do shoulder rolls whilst carrying weapons. We're not going to do that today. Another little, good, uh, little exercise for you. If you just grab a broomstick handle, you can have the broom end attached to it, it doesn't matter. You might not be able to see this. I'll do my best. Can you see that? I'll never look. You can just about see it. So we're just going to put the broomstick on the floor. Now the reason this is good is it doesn't affect anything that you're doing, but it does start to play on your mind a little bit. <clears throat> so when you come here, you're going to finish with your feet this side of the, um, I'm just going to call it a pool key then, this side of the broom handle, okay? And we're going to go into our position. What I've got to make sure I do is that I reach over that target, okay? So as I land, as I'm coming down, I'm going to reach my hand over there. Now I don't want to drop my feet down. I never drop my feet down anyway, so don't do it now, okay? So when you're here, you're going to reach, you're going to pass through, looking under, exactly the same technique. I'll do it from here to prove it, okay? So we're from here, I'm placing my hand over, reaching under, and as it comes here, you don't touch the broomstick at all, okay? And again, you can do that from a standard position as well if you want to. So if you're here, and you just go straight into it. Into shot. Good, okay, so there's a few ways to practice that. Um, don't rush it though, get really, get really comfortable, get used to that, um, uh, that basic technique first. So go from the ground, get that groundwork really solid before you move into the walking, get that one solid before you move into the standing, and then get that solid before you start to add obstacles to it as well. So build on each one. Ooh. There we go, that's the technique part done. Have a bit more water, everyone. We're gonna move on to form now. So the form is gonna incorporate these rolls. It's a relatively short form this week. One thing that I will be doing, and I think I promised you this every week, is all of these forms that we've done every week, I'm gonna be posting individually um, on the YouTube channel as well. So, um, you don't have to watch the whole class and listen to me talking. It'll just be pure form. Uh, I probably won't even explain it as I do it. I just, I just do it so you can see it. I do it slowly, then I do it at speed, um, so you can see how it's meant to look. And I think I've promised that probably every week that I've been doing this. But now this is the last class of the series. I will be doing that, and it will be going up for you. And maybe I, maybe I'll try and post it on a um, on a Thursday, so you don't feel you're missing out. Um, Again, as I've said to you before, let me know if there's anything you want. If you, if you like these little 10 minute warm ups, you know, they're, 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 there's, there's not a lot to them. Um, but if you, if you feel having someone talking to you helps motivate you and you want me just to do a few, uh, to just do a 10 minute um, class with you every week, just on, on the fitness side of it. Uh, I'm not a PT, I don't claim to be a PT, um, but uh, it will get me doing it as well. So it's good for me. So if you want to join in, <laughs> or if you want me to, uh, to, to lead some warm-up stuff with you, uh, just let me know. Right, okay, uh, form time. So, I'm just thinking which way to do this to give us the uh, best amount of room. I think it's going to be here. So, from here, I keep on fitting with my t-shirt today, apologies everyone. So from here, guard is going to be up. We're already starting in our fighting stance. So we're here, we're facing our opponent, yeah? 
We're going to do a jab. We're going to do a cross. Okay, so two easy moves. We've done this before. We've done this loads. We do it in the warm up every week. Okay, so we're going to go jab, cross, and just like the warm up, we're going to duck. This arm is forward. The attack will be coming from this way. So someone will be throwing a punch here. So I'm going to duck. Now, as I duck, as I take my head over, and in regards to ducking, never duck straight down. Okay, if I just come face to face with the camera here, never duck straight down. There's an attack always coming from one side or the other. And the idea with the duck is you move away. So if the attack's coming from here, I'm going to move away. If the attack comes from here, I'm going to move away. As I move away, I've started that duck. It just buys me a little bit more time to get away um, from that attack. So always a circular movement. Don't bend at the hips. It's not this, okay? We're not doing some kind of weird dance movement. Also, don't put your hands there. It's not this either, yeah? We're not in a hip hop group, okay? Guard is up. So that comes in, keep your guard up. You want to protect yourself in case it lands, okay? So our guard's up and I'm ducking in that circular movement. So we have jab, cross, duck. Now, as I've started that duck, my weight comes onto this left foot because I'm leaning this way. I'm going to take a little step out to the side as I do that. So I'll take a step. So as I'm coming around here, I'm in this position, okay? Now, before I come up fully, as I'm there, I'm going to reach out, okay? And I'm going to do the roll going through my left. So my left foot's forward. It's, in, it's the same uh, technique as if my right knee was down. So I'm going over my left shoulder on this. So I'm just going to take it slightly on an angle. I don't know if you can see I've got a fridge there. If I go straight across, I'm going to end up in my fridge. Okay, so we're going to do jab, cross, duck, take a little step, and you're going to shove rock to here. Yeah? As you come up, so we're facing here. I've rolled away from the attack. I've ducked and rolled through the attack. You can't really see my feet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this right foot, or sorry, my left foot back. My front foot's going to slide back. Looking over my right shoulder, I'm going to throw a kick. So I'm going to do a back kick, knocking the opponent away. Boom, land, turn. Okay, so I'm now facing the way I started. Let's do that again. Right, left foot forward, jab, cross, duck to the left, step, and roll. Come straight up, step in, kick, down, twist. So you're turning. Yeah, let's do that once more. It's not much more to it really. <laughs> okay, so we're here. Jab, cross, duck, step, roll, coming up, kick. Okay, that target of the kick can be head, sternum, or even knees if you want to. It's entirely up to you, whatever you feel more comfortable with. Okay, once more. Jab, cross, oh, step on the wrong foot. Jab, cross, duck, step, roll, Step back, kick. Make sure you look, I was looking at the camera. <laughs> kick, turn, okay? I just give a bit more room. So now, put my right foot forward. So guess what we're gonna do? It's on the opposite side. Always training on both sides. So, same thing. Jab, cross, yeah? Jab with the right, cross with the left. This time I'm ducking to my right. So I duck, move my left foot. You know what's coming now, don't you? We're going to place and we're going to roll over the right shoulder. So as we're here, we're going to roll over the right shoulder. Coming through, hey! Grab onto your protection. Managed to space that quite well. <laughs> so we're here. And we're going to turn. We're not putting the back kick in this time. So let's do that again. Can you give yourself a little bit more room? So we're here. Jab, cross. Duck with a step. Just a little step. Just give you a bit more base here. You're now going to roll. So left hand down, right hand underneath. So you're coming down, roll. Coming up, turn. As soon as you turn, you're going to look to lead it. You're going to turn and you're going to block with your left, block with your right. Then using this part here, choke strike. Okay, coming straight in, straight in for here if there was someone there. Boom. So block with your left, block with your right, choke strike. Okay, right, let's do those first two bits together. So we have jab, cross, duck to the left and step, going into your roll, 
coming up, kick. Okay, just giving a bit more space here. Turn, jab with the right, cross with the left, duck, take a step, roll, coming through, look over your shoulder, turn and block. Turn and block, choke strike. Okay, now you're just gonna turn to the 45. So I'm kind of coming forward this time, yeah? I don't have the space to do this. So from this point here, you're gonna do one more roll, okay? So my left foot is forward, my right is back, so we're gonna go over our left shoulder again. Uh, no, I'm definitely not gonna be able to roll here. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna roll. So put the roll in, I'm gonna fake it for now. And we're gonna come up to a stand up position here, okay? What's gonna happen now is I'm gonna throw a hook with my left, I'm gonna throw a hook with my right, and now I want you to imagine that you've just been struck. Now, be very careful, make sure you've got enough room behind you here, okay? I want you to look around before you're doing this. If anything is close at all, do not do this, do this slowly. What I don't want you doing is banging your head on the corner of a table or a chair or anything that's around, so make sure you've got clear space behind. So you've done your left hook, you've done your right hook. I want you to imagine now that you've been struck. So when we take a strike to the face, what you never do is whip your head back. If you whip it back, you're gonna pull all these muscles in the back of the neck, you're gonna hurt yourself. So instead, imagine someone's pushed you here. So they're gonna push you here, then your head can roll, but your head hasn't initiated that movement. So you strike, it comes back. You're gonna take a big step back with your right foot. So it comes in, big step back and then you're just gonna sit on your ankle, okay? So you're gonna sit down, chin into your chest. You keep your chin into your chest until you've landed, okay? Once you've landed, you can then relax your head. The reason you keep your chin in is if you don't, if my head was slightly back here and I came back, I don't know if you can see this, yeah? I'll try and go as slow as I can. If I come back in this position, see what happens? My head is gonna hit the floor before my body has or my shoulders have, okay? So you keep your chin in, so as you come back, or in my case, chins, as you come back, your body completely relaxes into the floor, and then you can relax your head, okay? So keep that chin in, really important. So, you've done the roll, we're here, hook, hook, we take a hit, it comes in here, we take a step back, we sit on our heel, okay? So again, you can't really see this that well, Done a hook, we've done a hook. As the hit comes in, we take a step back. The bigger the step, the closer you are to the floor. So take a step back, sit on your heel, coming down. Don't land on your coccyx, okay? And it drops back to here. And that is where you end up. You can uh, slam it down as well if you want. It's a nice impact. <laughs> right, break fall winner. Okay, so once more from the top. Uh, I don't think I can get that roll in, I'll see if I can. So we have jab, cross, duck with a step and a roll, back kick. Okay, turn, give me a bit more room. Gonna go jab, cross, duck to the right, you step and you roll, turn and block. Turn and block, choke strike. Turn, so imagine there's a new opponent here. Okay, I'll try and put the roll in. So we're here, we're gonna go down. Look how much room I've got. Probably out of shot here. Yes, I am, we'll come back in. We do the roll. We go left hook, boom. Right hook, boom. I'm just gonna move in a bit. Go left hook, right hook. Take the hit. So that hit initiates from your, from your chest and from your shoulders. As you go back, take a big step. Chin into your chest. And drop. And there you have it guys. That's a little bit of form to practice your shoulder rolls. So, thank you so much. I've had a blast these last eight weeks. In fact, I've had a blast these last, I can't remember how many videos I've done now. 20, 21, something like that. 21 weeks, having you guys come along each week's been great. Um, please, please keep looking um, at the Fight Right channel on YouTube. Please look at the Facebook page as well. Um, I've had a request May have mentioned this last week, I've had a request to run a reduced size uh, exam course in Northern Ireland, uh, which I hope to do in the next three weeks. So if that is of interest for you, please let me know. Please send a message over to me. Um, I, I'm probably looking at only being able to take six to eight people. 
be a three day course and I've got about 12 people interested at the moment. So it may be that I run um, a couple of these courses. I've just got to make sure everything that I do complies uh, with government regulations regards to social distancing and safety for everyone. So thank you once again. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share with your friends everything that I say every week. It's been a blast and I hope to see you again soon. See you next time.